It is here, Anvil has released, finally, and everything has been reset, <laughs> which is fine. The version that I showed you in the first video was a special demo version that was given out to select people so we could show off the game, and all the data from that got wiped, so my account level is back down, all my unlockables went back down, my, my season progress is back down, all of it, and I've had to start working on my talent tree again, which is all fine. I don't have any toys now. Um, my little critical increase robot is not even here in the list anymore. They might be saving him for another season and they were just testing each one out. Um, but I'm not I'm not thinking about buying one of them just yet because they're more expensive now for a start. Probably because they're really good. But all of my breakers were locked again, except for the three that you start with. Um, Elsa, Guillotine, and Jungler. But I have shown you Jungler and... <laughs> Jungler? Did I say Jungler? <laughs> oh, no! Jungler and Guillotine I've shown you before. Elsa, I uh, I could show you Elsa, but to be honest, Elsa is really, like, rough for me to play. Like, she's not terrible, she just... Ah, now she's got it. You know what I'm gonna do? Uzi! Woo! My favorite of the of the girl characters, Uzi, because she's she's just so useful. Useful Uzi. Uh right next to Shuri, but Shuri starts off a bit rough. But Shuri's also really good, but I'll get to her eventually. First off, we have Uzi, and all of my relics and, and the skin options, they're all locked again. Not that I really had many for Uzi in the first place. I don't think I had any. But she gets this really nice gold unlockable, uh elegant gold skin, which does look kind of nice. I like the, the glittery heel going on down here. She's got these nice little glitter accents. But besides that, the red is also very, very nice. All my relics that I had, gone. The 15% critical boost, gone. Don't have it anymore. So for relics, what I've gotten so far in like the one hour or so of just playing a little bit to see if everything's still the same and to unlock a few things. Uh, speed up Greaves, 20% movement speed, very handy. Um, is actually, it feels faster than it sounds, right? 20% doesn't sound like a lot. Just, you know, a fifth more speed. It, that, it really does do a lot, dude. It helps a lot. And penetrate rounds. Ignore 20% of enemies' defense. We love ignoring enemies' defense. We love doing big, big damage. And so this is what we're coming out with so far. Uzi, true to her name, starts with a pair of Uzis that actually have a special uh, built-in function to them. If you stand still, you can see the stream of bullets is very linear and very straight with good accuracy. And if you're moving when you're shooting, it scatters shots, which can be handy for knocking out, you know, waves of smaller enemies rushing you. But if you stop and stand still, you get a better focused line of, of shots. Her right mouse button, her other attack, she zips forward and sprays bullets all over the place. This is deceptively damaging and does a lot more than you would ever expect it to do. Her E, is a targeted stun area. It kind of vacuums enemies that get caught in it into a center point and stuns them and does some damage. You can aim this wherever your cursor is. It's pretty nice. Her dodge is a teleport. All of the girls, I believe, have the exact same teleport. The same as how all the big dudes have some sort of uh, low movement utility move and a lot of the uh, rifle guys have a typical dodge. Her Q, her ultimate ability, this is where her utility really breaks out. She has a bubble dome that prevents ammunition from enemies. Did I say ammunition? Prevents projectiles. My brain, I swear to God. Prevents projectiles from getting in. Very handy for group play. Uh, and also just good in general for, you know, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to quickly jump into a run right away. We're getting in here. I'm not wasting any more time. And we're going to do some Uzi action in the Cerny Galaxy. A little bit of solo play. I'll, I'll show you guys some co-op stuff uh, soonish. Now that the game is, is fully released, there's more people available. Uh, on you, scan 50% increased weapon power for 10 seconds. Ow, dude, I was reading that. Let me just zip out of here. Yeah! Power through all that. Look at this. The Uzi gun is actually really, really good. She starts with them, right? Which, uh, gets stunned. Look at that. Uh, I don't want the cannon. I don't want it. The Uzi is actually really, really nice. On use, 50% increased weapon damage for 10 seconds. Immediate all status effects. This is actually pretty nice. So you can start a fight with it if you want to. And then, well, here we go. Look, all these little dudes. Uzi does a great job of spread firing and taking care of them when they come in towards you. Fire off the Phoenix Wings. We get a few more seconds of bonus weapon damage. My God, look at all these little dudes. All right, all right. What do we have here? Tracker handgun? Hmm, yeah, that's not too bad. I think those are the ones that home in on people. Ah, turret greaves. 
10% increase to attack power and defense for one second for not moving. No, thank you. Increase HP recovery by 50%. Not bad. I don't have any ways of healing myself at the moment, but my goal is to either upgrade my bubble dome that uh, does come with a an upgrade. Ow. I didn't even see where you came from, dude. Here, I'm going to put the bubble down. And enemies that try and lunge into it, you can see, they are also getting pushed back. Now, the dome is not foolproof. Uh, it does not prevent the laser attacks from the robot guys that get summoned, the, the machine god minions. It doesn't stop laser projectiles from shooting through. And some melee enemies that jump into you will still hit you and then get bounced out themselves. So they, like, temporarily zip through, touch you, and then get knocked back out. Increase max rounds by 20. Very handy right here, especially for a, a, a gun like the Uzi... And like a lot of the uh, the girl characters' weapons, they have very low ammo and require a lot of reloading, but they're very burst heavy. Especially these Uzis. Very burst heavy. I mean, you can tell by looking at them. Uh, once she teleports, she leaves an image of herself behind. The image will blow up uh, if enemies touch it or just after a few seconds and harm everyone else. Uh, no, I don't want any of that. I'm going to keep breaking some of these boxes to get some, some free money. No, no. Get away. Get away. Bubble! Freeze him. Stay out. Zip through. Stay out. Stay out. Stay out. Stay out. Me and my Robro together forever. It's nice damage, dude. It's just it. I know I keep saying it's nice damage, and it's a bit, bit much, but it really is. Uh, a lot of the girl characters um, have some really nice weapons. I love their their weapon variety. That being said, I am sticking to the Uzis because I think they're my favorite. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to get rid of them just yet. Uh, cooldown for her dash, very handy. She only has one dash. It's on a short cooldown, but she only has one. If I can get some extra dashes, that's going to help out a lot with her. The teleport is really nice. I think the teleport's uh, my second favorite defensive skill behind Guillotine Shield. Uh, yes, Guillotine Shield is that good. There we go. All allies heal 2% of their HP while they're inside the bubble. Uh, increased damage to frozen targets by 100%. Her uh, CC, her stun thing, it's technically a freeze. So freeze an enemy and then blow them up. Ooh, it's a tier 3 assault handguns over here. Some more Uzis. More damage to bosses. Attack power when the uh, when my HP is high. Attack power 5 seconds when my ammo is above 70%. The other two effects on it aren't that great, but if I make some cash, I might just buy them for the damage upgrade. Lava Gigantes. I don't mind, dude. Here. Gigantes this. Yeah, I thought so. What an idiot. He just ran into a wall and knocked himself out, basically. No. Oh, I forgot that's a projectile attack. There you go, buddy. Warning. Uh, warning. So what? More attack power increase. More defense for 30 seconds. So... You are just making him more annoying to do battle with. That is fine. Ow. Wait, no, that didn't hit me. I thought it did, but it did not. Man, that wind-up is so delayed. It's making me think that he's going to do it sooner. You're like a straight-up Dark Souls boss in here with that, that delayed wind-up. Yo, how about some awkward timing? Oh, there's the spin. He's doing the spin. He shoots out little balls, but I can put my bubble dome down. It's a bit late and unnecessary, but, you know, I can at least heal while I'm inside of it, so... It's all good. Ah, he's no longer getting stunned anymore. Bosses and mini-bosses are only susceptible to CC. Well, mini-bosses. I don't think bosses' bosses are. But you can get them with CC for a little bit, and then after a, a, a touch of damage, once they move into a final phase, they just start not caring then. Put the bubble down, stand here. He can still move in because it's a melee attack. Knock him down with our Phoenix Wings attack. Don't want that weapon. Don't care about the weapon at all. We've got 400 buckaroos. I could go and buy that upgrade. Unless there's something more important that I want. But I might go and buy the weapon because it's it's just that good. Reduce skill cooldowns by 50%. That's nice, dude. That's nice. It's really nice, it's really nice, but no, I'm gonna take the safe route and buy my, my upgraded Uzis right now, which I can show you here on my, my stats screen. More damage to bosses, more attack power when I'm healthy, 
and more attack power when I have a lot of ammo, more than 70% ammo, and that's only going to count for a few shots, realistically. Uh, what I should be doing is reloading, because I think that counts... I'm not sure if that counts for just the weapon itself or all of my damage in general, which means if I do my, my Phoenix Wings attack on full ammunition, it'll do more damage, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's a, an easy way to test that. Because the reload is really fast. That's that's good damage right there. Uh, get frozen. Take that. Who's alive? No one's alive? Good. Uh, increase teleport dummies damage. 100% weapon to power increase for 15 seconds on a perfect dodge. I'm not good at perfect dodging with teleports. Increase damage to frozen targets. I mean, the dummy doing more damage, like 500% more damage is also kind of weak. I might just get this and cross my fingers that I get some perfect dodges. But I'm really not good at it. Um, like at all. Like at all. So if I do it now... I'm trying to get an idea of the damage I'm doing when it's reloaded and when it's not. It's really not easy. Bubble Dome. Try me, dudes. Try me. Ugh, so I can stand still and get that, that clean spread. And by clean spread, I mean a, a straight goddamn line, dude. Yeah, that's right. Clean spread is straight line. Uh, wrist coins. I gain more HP, defense, and attack power when I have less than 120 coins left. Pretty handy for when I get to the end of the run and I start to fight the boss because... I can just dump all of my uh, my cash on upgrades or items and ensure that I have that. Even if I don't have it all the time, I can pretty consistently get it, you know, some of the time. I don't have it right now, though, but that's okay. As soon as I find some good upgrades, I will be spending cash. Knock all these dudes down. It's so, it's so clean. I love this Uzi. I love, I love this character. She's so fast and powerful. Now, the Brawler Silver Tooth increases damage by 10% the closer you are. Funny enough, Uzi does fight relatively close, especially for her Phoenix Wings, where it, it goes into the enemy, basically. You've got to, like, dive into them. Uh, generates shield equal 20% max HP on perfectly timed survival skills. We've got two of these, attack and shield greaves. I'll take the shield greaves for now, because I'm already kind of crossing my fingers that I can get some well-timed dodges for the sake of getting my, my damage increase, and some survivability wouldn't wouldn't be a, a miss either. Because I don't want to die. But yes, it's it's very fun now that the game is out uh, properly, and that everyone is is exploring the game, unlocking characters, uh, figuring out who that their lasers. See, the machine dudes do laser attacks, and I cannot stop them from doing it. Thankfully, we finished the uh, satellite restoration, and it just wipes out all these dudes immediately. Uh, speed Magazine increases attack speed by 30%. This is insanely good. Especially on the Uzis. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, can I get this as a, as a permanent unlock, please? Can I can I get this as my unlock for the run? I, I don't want anything else after that. Just, well, I mean, I do, but I don't want anything else from, from this run so far. Give me... Give me that upgrade, please. I'll, I'll thank you forever for it. Come over here, guys. Whoa, that's a big explosion. I did not expect it to be that big. That could have ended me right there, dude. At least I think it could. I'm not sure how much damage it really does. I don't think I've been hit by the explosion before. Uh, defense suit, heal scope. Yo, yo, yo. Stop that. Let me just sit in my dome for a second. Look at the healing, the passive healing. It's nice. Good for group play. I also have that, that heal scope for a 1%, uh, 2% when you upgrade it, but 1% chance for now to gain some life back. And I might even reduce the cooldown of my dash some more, because I haven't been lucky enough to find an upgrade that gives me an extra dash. I'm just going to reduce the cooldown of this dash as much as I can. Bubble! Bubble! I can sit here and bubble while I open this. I just walked into all that damage. Get back in the bubble real quick. Bam, bam. I think I'm seeing a couple of 400 heals here and there for whenever I do damage, I can get that heal. It's a 1% chance right now, which kind of sucks, but you can always upgrade it. Whoa, was that... Who is calling me? Just had a random phone call from a telemarketer person asking about solar panels and like, you know, are you interested in solar panels? Do you have panels right now? We could offer you great rates on solar panels. And here's me over here, like, No, I don't want solar panels. Also, powerful defense suit is nice, but I want more penetration, 
more penetration because also when you upgrade it enough um it starts to upgrade other things so right now where's my relics where's my relics my penetrator shot you can see right here you can actually look and see what happens as you upgrade so 60 percent enemy defense but i'm also getting 20 percent skill power increase so my phoenix wings get stronger you can hover over a lot of other stuff here you can see the greaves you start getting an attack speed increase when you start boosting the greaves up a lot so a lot of these upgrades that go like up to five times the upgrade you might think well why would i want to get a like an up to five upgrade when i can just get speed magazine or just get you know the ones that give you a big boost that's because the ones that like level up gain stronger effects there's a one percent chance to inflict 500 percent attack power as extra damage on this heal scope right here it's very very handy if you want to invest Sorry. long term in something like that and i find investing in greaves just great for the girl characters that give them extra skill damage and more dodge capability because that is something that they suffer from there's the defense suit again uh charging defender reduces cooldowns whenever i take damage i don't want to be taking damage though instead let's see if i can get something aha one more use of my dodge uh the greatly increased radius is all right but i'm not really needing it but an extra dodge is something that's going to be super useful super useful hello bug enemy thing here i'm gonna whip zip hoop dip to whip on you i'm gonna freeze you real quick blast you in the butt i can't remember if i've shown this one off in the first video but this dude is basically just ah thought i got hit for a second there but i didn't lucky me it's kind of just like a slow moving big bug boss enemy but it's the aoe effects on the ground that are the real issue um especially when the fight progresses a bit more and it starts to happen more frequently the actual attacks that this boss does are very slow but the aoe on the ground seems to be independent of the boss because it still happens even when the boss is frozen which i would not have expected i would have thought that if the boss was frozen it wouldn't do this but sure enough it do but damn look at the damage right now this thing's almost dead oh there you go the cc is starting to work less effectively and the attacks from the boss are starting to become more frequent and by that i mean the the telegraphed effects on the ground got to keep moving i don't want to sit still long enough to be caught by this it will do a lot of damage and i will not thank them for it all right can i get this with the phoenix wings to finish it off yeah done simples simples when you know how broke a cannon no thank you i've got a tier three uzi I don't need that. Aha, look, more penetrator rounds. Gimme, dude, I don't care. I could get the critical boost, but I don't have any critical increasing effects anymore. 5% shield generated for three seconds whenever I dash. Not bad, not bad at all. In fact, yeah, I'll take him. I'll take him. That shield's gonna be handy. And then you got the safe coin, which contradicts my risk coin. I need less money to get my risk coin. The safe coin is uh, saving money. Oh, I could do the critical power up chip. What was down here? What was down here first? Let me let me think. Let me think. Let me think. What was down here? What was down here? Uh, right, the defense suit. You know what? I'll buy the defense suit. Fifty percent more defense is just nice. Next planet. Let's go. Next planet, dude. I'm excited to start unlocking stuff again. I don't know what it is about like just games in general, but having some things behind a locked wall is just really fun to unlock things. I don't know why. I'm just that person who likes doing it another use of my dodge three dodges better than two all better than one ah oh, if i had money i could buy another i could buy double greaves and get another dodge ah oh, i shouldn't have bought that last upgrade doesn't matter doesn't matter wait is this the sand shark boss oh no the run's over wait i'm gonna die i'm gonna die on camera i have no idea how to beat this thing this thing is a nightmare this thing is an actual nightmare to deal with. As soon as it starts going into its big I'm mad and pissed off mode, it becomes uh, basically unreasonably difficult. And I'm not sure why. But it really does just become a super problem. Alright. Alright. There's the robots. I was expecting the Robros. I need to get rid of the Robros ASAP. No. Zip out the way of that. Okay, Robo down. Robo down. He's doing the big suck. Alright, he's only doing one cleave so far with that. And I can get out of the way. Nice. 
I am hurt though. When did I get injured? Put my bubble down. I can stand here for I could have put the bubble up, up close actually. I should have put it up close. But I'm just gonna sit here and get some life back real quick. There we go. Maybe I got hit with an AoE. Oh yeah, I just walked into one right there. I can see now. I'm thinking that I'm getting away from the AO. Damn it, the Uzis. The only negative with the Uzis, their range isn't the best. All right, just don't get sucked in. I can come up here and drop the bubble a little bit closer now. I'm immune to the suck, apparently. Whoa, did that cleave hit me? Dude, deceptive range. I'm moving out. I'm did you see him? He hit me with that cleave. Yo, nonsense, son. Nonsense. Okay, this is one boss fight that Uzi actually is having a bit of a troubled time with because he's just mean, apparently. All right, still only one swing. I'm glad it's one swing. All right, here's the issue. Dude. 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 What's the sand on the ground? Oh, it's petrifying. It's petrifying if you get hit by it. Oh, I see. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. That's mean. Move away from the cleave. The bubble doesn't save from the cleave. Phoenix attack. Oh, I should be saving my, my bubble dome for this move right here. This move is the real problem when it comes to... Uh, getting away from from range attacks no i mean this kind of jousting play style where i can move in and out and uh take pot shots at him isn't too bad here we go bubble now do i still get petrified that's the question yeah look at that just avoid all that damage dude i don't care okay it's not going to save me from things underneath me though nor this big cleave evidently it's taken a hot minute. Oh, wait. Is he pissed off? He's gone into another pissed off state. Okay. Whoa, dude. Yo, speed. Oh, my God. You see how far... Okay, he's spinning. He's spinning. What's he doing? Whoa. Yo. Okay. Okay. I, I see. In times like these, when I have no idea what to do, we shall turn to the community. Let's look for some party members. Let's go win a duo. Genuinely took like six seconds. Cade9999 playing your big man guillotine over here. What up, big gill? I like it, dude. I like the guillotine play. Big axe swinging, bro. Meanwhile, here's me. Shooty, shooty person as support. Let's go, Cade. Big guillotine man. Co-op. Let's get it, son. Ugh. I'm going to blast all that. I'm going to get some cash for us real quick while you... Ask some dudes questions. Nice. The game does feature, uh, yo, what do we got here? Blink handgun. Oh, this is the one that, that, uh, teleports you and heals you after you finish using it, right? Yo, he's got a missile launcher. Dude, mi no, take it. Take it. It's missiles. Ah, oh, man. He doesn't want to take it. One more use of my teleport. Great. Okay. Take top side. You take bottom side. Go for it. Go for it. Like I was saying, the game does feature voice chat, but I'm not using it right now because I want to be able to talk to you guys. I want to be able to talk to my, my, my wonderful gang, my peoples. Yeah, go out there and do stuff, bro. Gonna be badass. Gonna be badass. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's, he's swinging, dude. He's swinging. He's out there being guillotined. Me and Cade gonna rock this machine slayer. Us. Just be careful about standing too close, Cade. She won't thank you for standing too close all the time. Just be sure you're blocking or healing or something, dude. He's doing a lot of damage, though. I mean, I'm kind of limited because whenever I... Whenever I'm trying to shoot, he's putting that... That nonsense AoE out there, and I can't really... Do anything about... Do this. He's doing this a lot. Okay, be careful, dude. Heal up, bro. There we go. Done. Woo! And we're all mostly dead. <laughs> He's doing really well. I'm actually really glad with this that this uh, guillotine is is doing so well. I was worried about the lag. The lag is is a non-factor, by the way. I have no idea how close this dude is to me, but this just feels like offline. Like it, it feels like a solo run right now. There's there's virtually no lag. There's there's no issues that I'm noticing. 
I'd love to see stats though. How can, can I see like how much damage he's doing, how much healing we're doing? I want I want breakdowns. I want breakdowns. This place sucks! Oh, he's fighting big mans, that's why. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move. I can't move. Can I get up, please? Thank you. Okay, don't die. Okay, big man's just targeting me. Oh, these little good dudes are awful. He's trying to do heals. He, he's trying to just heal. I feel you, bro. I feel you. We did it. We did it. Is that it? Mission complete? Big bubble. Stand here, dude. It'll protect you against the little balls. All right, all I gotta do is... Oh, shit. I forgot about these. I actually forgot about these. Dude, the damage is nice, though. The damage is really nice. Okay, I've got a bubble for the next set of balls. There we go. Take cover, dude. I would not be surprised if my bubbles are just the worst and he doesn't want to stand in them because he's all like, Yo, this Beals dude is dropping crap bubbles. Can I... Can I... Uh... Come on, Cade. Come on, Cade. I believe it, Cade. I believe in you, Cade. He picked me up. He picked me up. I had no idea you could pick him up. Dude. No, we died. Shit! Look at all of that stuff on the screen, dude! No! Okay, I broke the game. I'm sorry. I broke the game. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. The last run with 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 Cade, I believe it was, was amazing. We got up to the final boss fight. Everything was going smooth as butter. But then the very end, the boss just went full full berserker mode. Destroyed us. I'm sorry. I did not mean to to ping. Come here. I did not mean it. Now this is actually kind of cool because. Shuri, the character that uh, Papatai, Papatai over here is playing as, is a support character who buffs attack speed and heals. So this actually could be very, very, very handy. Papatai's signal was lost. No, I thought Papatai just died. Papatai, don't leave me alone. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm totally gonna clutch this out. Just because we lost our friend doesn't mean I'm not still, you know, crazy cool and great at this and that I can't still. Haha, <laughs> you think. <gasps> that hit me. No. N what? Nothing touched me. No, he's on like 2% life left. No. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you have enjoyed seeing the now fully released Anvil with some co-op action. Don't worry, I will get my co-op wins. I think co-op is a better way to go than just going in solo because the difficulty doesn't seem to adjust too much. It just seems like, you know, you have another person running around helping you kill things and whether or not you, you have to share items or not for, for long term. I don't know if that's going to get changed or not. Either way, I think co-op is still a better idea than going solo. Anvil is available for purchase now, and it is also worth mentioning that they hit their 50,000 wish list uh, long-term goal. So if you want to, you can head over to the Anvil Discord, and you will see some codes have been released that you can redeem for an extra 500 of the Kron, the little blue cubes for unlocking things, and the complete set to Jungler's Gold right here. I don't know if it's gonna stay around for long term, and you'll be able to go in there and grab it whenever, but if you wanna jump on and get this cool skin for the Jungler, I recommend doing it sooner than later. But with all of that said and done, I gotta get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed some Anvil action, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one. <laughs>